Listening section. In this section of the test, you will have the chance to show how well you understand spoken English. There are two parts to this section with special directions for each part. Part 1. Questions 1 to 9. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear some dialogues or questions spoken in English. The dialogues or questions will be spoken two times. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers say. After you hear a dialogue and the question about it, read the four possible answers and decide which one would be the best answer to the question you have heard. Now listen to a sample question. How about exercising tomorrow morning? All right, pick me up at six. What will the man do? How about exercising tomorrow morning? All right, pick me up at six. What will the man do? The best answer to the question is come to her house. Therefore, you should choose answer A. Number one. Due to the heavy snow, some schools are closed. How is the weather today? Number one. Due to the heavy snow, some schools are closed. How is the weather today? Number two. Can you help me to lift this box? Sure, no problem. What will the man probably do? Number two. Can you help me to lift this box? Sure, no problem. What will the man probably do? Number three. I've just bought a set of furniture. What? Our old furniture is still good. What did the woman probably buy? Number three. I've just bought a set of furniture. What? Our old furniture is still good. What did the woman probably buy? Number four. Mr. Hendra, would you send my letter to Mr. Smith? What would Mr. Hendra answer to refuse the request? Number four. Mr. Hendra, would you send my letter to Mr. Smith? What would Mr. Hendra answer to refuse the request? Number five. Would you carry these books to the teacher's room for me? I'd be glad to, ma'am. Where does the conversation most likely take place? Number five. Would you carry these books to the teacher's room for me? I'd be glad to, ma'am. Where does the conversation most likely take place? Number six. How long can I borrow the book? You may borrow it for one week. I'll mark the date for you. Where does the man work? Number 
Number six. How long can I borrow the book? You may borrow it for one week. I'll mark the date for you. Where does the man work? Number seven. How about finding something to eat? That sounds great. What does the woman mean? Number seven. How about finding something to eat? That sounds great. What does the woman mean? Number eight. I accidentally deleted a file. I really apologize. No problem. I have kept all the data in my flash disk. Just continue your work. Where does the conversation most likely take place? Number eight. I accidentally deleted a file. I really apologize. No problem. I have kept all the data in my flash disk. Just continue your work. Where does the conversation most likely take place? Number nine. Fred, this is Rudy. What is the best response to the statement? Number nine. Fred, this is Rudy. What is the best response to the statement? Part two. Questions ten to fifteen. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear several monologues. Each monologue will be spoken two times. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers say. After you hear a monologue. And the question about it. Read the four possible answers, and decide which one would be the best answer to the questions you have heard. Questions numbers ten and eleven are based on the following information. The United Kingdom has some constituent countries. One of them is England. England is the largest constituent country with the largest population. Eighty-three percent of the United Kingdom's population lives in England. England occupies around two-thirds of Great Britain Island. England shares borders with Scotland and Wales. It is also bordered by the sea. Questions numbers ten and eleven are based on the following information. The United Kingdom has some constituent countries. One of them is England. England is the largest constituent country with the largest population. Eighty-three percent of the United Kingdom's population lives in England. England occupies around two thirds of Great Britain Island. England shares borders with Scotland and Wales. It is also bordered by the sea. Number ten. What country is the speaker talking about? Number ten. What country is the speaker talking about? Number eleven. Regarding the population in UK, what percentage is the population of England? Number eleven. 
Regarding the population in UK, what percentage is the population of England? Questions numbers 12 and 13 are based on the following information. Welcome to New South Wales. Here you find a lot of amazing attractions and beautiful tourist resorts. In the mountains you can ski. On the coasts you can surf. You can enjoy beautiful beaches and the wonderful scenery of Australia's tallest mountain, Mount Kosciuszko. Questions numbers 12 and 13 are based on the following information. Welcome to New South Wales. Here you find a lot of amazing attractions and beautiful tourist resorts. In the mountains you can ski. On the coasts you can surf. You can enjoy beautiful beaches and the wonderful scenery of Australia's tallest mountain, Mount Kosciuszko. Number 12. How are the beaches in New South Wales? Number 12. How are the beaches in New South Wales? Number 13. How do you describe Mount Kosciuszko? Number 13. How do you describe Mount Kosciuszko? Questions numbers 14 and 15 are based on the following information. Hillsdale, a city in Michigan, has the youngest mayor in the country. Michael Sessions is just 18 years old. He is still in senior high school. He became the mayor after beating the sitting mayor by 670 votes to 668. In the morning, he has to attend classes, and in the afternoon has to do mayoralty stuff. Questions numbers 14 and 15 are based on the following information. Hillsdale, a city in Michigan, has the youngest mayor in the country. Michael Sessions is just 18 years old. He is still in senior high school. He became the mayor after beating the sitting mayor by 670 votes to 668. In the morning, he has to attend classes, and in the afternoon has to do mayoralty stuff. Number 14. What office does Michael Sessions hold? Number 14. What office does Michael Sessions hold? Number 15. How old is Michael Sessions? Number 15. How old is Michael Sessions?